Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about command window and dynamic input. With that being said, let's begin. So if we want to use command window, we don't need to use the cursor to select the window. Actually, we can do it here. So we put it here. Now we don't select the command window. Say I want to draw a circle. So I can directly tap circle. So right now, circle is already showing up in the command window. So let's select the circle to activate the command. So right now we see the prompts in the command window. It says specify center point for the circle or 2P, 3P, 2P, and GTR. Right now I want to select to specify the center point. Let's say to specify a center here. Now Let's look at the command window. It says specify radius for the circle. Let's type in, say, 60. OK, now we have complete a circle. Now, let's go to the status bar at the bottom of the window and go to the right side to select customization and select the dynamic input. Now we see at the status bar the dynamic input is showing up but is not activated. Let's click it to activate it. Okay, we see the color is light blue. It's activated. Now we want to use dynamic input draw a circle. Let's directly type circle. We see that the suggestion showing up near the cursor. So let's select the circle. So we, we see the prompts is showing up near the circle. We also, it said specify center point for circle and there's the arrow, down arrow. Now let's hit the down arrow on the keyboard. And now there are more prompts. It said 3P, 2P, and TTR. So I don't want to use the selection. So let's hit let's hit the three P, hit the up arrow, and to return the default prompt. So to specify the center or circle, let's say here. And right now we see the prompt process specify radius of a circle. Let's type 50. Okay. Now in this video, we learned how to use that uh, command window and the dynamic input. Thank you for your watching. If you have any question, please feel free to let me know.